Paying twenty dollar per month for ChatGPT may not be useful for all of us. Maybe you use ChatGPT to generate certain things only few times in a day. Then there is no point of spending twenty dollars per month. Multiple different alternatives available in market, which you can use as an alternative of ChatGPT. And I have recorded multiple videos on those topics also. Today I will show you one option which is available inside Twitter. That is Grok. Grok is one model which Twitter introduced long back. However, that was only available for Twitter Premium users for a very long time. Now they have opened access to Grok for all Twitter users. So if you go to Twitter.com or X.com, and there you will be able to access this particular tool. Let me show you in this video detailed about how can you use it and what are the use cases it can support. Now let me open my Twitter account, and there you will be able to see. Currently, I'm in X.com homepage, and this is my Twitter feed. I'm not using a premium plan. Currently, you can see it's showing that subscribe to a premium plan, and the left side you will be able to see one option that is Grok. If I click on that, then you will be able to see this kind of an interface. Now, if I click on this particular menu, then your left pane of Twitter will also get hidden. And now this is the interface you will be able to use. Like ChatGPT, and there are multiple different options are also there. So we'll talk about each and everything, whatever you need. Now before we start, if you don't have a Twitter account, then you can create one using your Google credentials, and then you'll be able to log in, and then similar options you'll be able to see. Now in this video, I'll show you multiple different use cases of Grok, but stick to the end of the video to know one option which is not available in majority of the other LLM models. And I will show you in a while. Now the first one. Let us start with a very simple one. Maybe you are a student or a teacher, and you want to check solution of one of the arithmetic problem. And if I paste this particular prompt, a train 280 meters long is running at a speed of 72 kilometers per hour, and I want to understand that how much time will it take to cross a platform of 220 meters and if i hit enter then it will start solving that problem and you can see currently it calculated and it came up with a response so it is able to solve arithmetic problems now you can check with multiple different other complex problems also let me know if this calculation is correct and this answer whatever it came up with it's correct or not now let's talk about another scenario here you can see one option is there attach image or file i'll click on that and let's see from a image of a book can it extract the text or not because there are certain tools which are lagging that particular ability also if i click on it and then i attach one image which is a scanned image of a book and let it analyze that thing first now i type my prompt can you help me to extract text out of this scanned image and if i hit enter now you can see it could not extract that image properly so the ocr feature doesn't work so it's showing that it cannot extract the exact text out of it but you can ask question like a summary or any other questions from this image so let us do one thing i will upload another image and i will ask certain questions let me do that if i click on this attach image again and then i select another image which i earlier downloaded from linkedin This particular image contains details of DeepSeek, which is another LLM model came into market and created too much of noise. And now, if I ask this question, can you analyze this image and give me the summary? Now you can see it started analyzing and it is giving me the summary. So you cannot use Grok as your OCR software. but using any of the image and details you will be able to request details about it let me show you the actual image how it looks like then you will be able to understand it more so this is the image i uploaded you can see this particular image contains good amount of text and it's all about deep seek and then our table is also there with some values and you can see grok already provided us all those details analyzing this image so this is good in analyzing image you can see it gave in a very detailed way all those details are available now if i ask to do a fact check because this document says some of the things we are requested for the for the summary but what if the some of the details mentioned are correct or not so for that if you want to do a fact check then let's try if that is working out in grok or not so if i paste this prompt now there are some details mentioned in this document are those actually true now it will go you can see it searched all these post from twitter and also it searched 15 different web pages 
to give you those responses. So it is having that search capability enabled so that it can do a fact check for you. So if you are looking for certain details, so it can go and do a fact check for you. Now one very good feature which Grok now allows, you can see it is also able to see different posts. If I click on it, it will show you all relevant tweets related to this particular topic. This is directly from DeepSeek only, right? So you'll be also able to see what's happening around the world and where if people are writing it about it in Twitter or how, how things are. So all those things you'll be able to see. One point we also need to understand here that in case someone is writing something in Twitter which is not factual, then what will happen? And not only about the tweets, if you can click on these web pages, those also will come here. And if you click on any specific topic, it will open in a different tab and there you will be able to see much more detailed analysis about it. So this is a very good one. Normally we use Perplexity AI to do this kind of a research, but that is now completely available for free with your Twitter account. Another major thing I want to talk about, if I close this particular pin and then I come down, so you can see now that there are some follow-up prompts which you can also ask and which is giving you some suggestions. Now this is common across all other LLM models, but I can see these two options are quite relevant while we are discussing about DeepSeek and their investment, how those models were built, everything. So those things also you can check and just keep looking for these suggestions which can be really helpful in case you are looking for some additional details on any specific topic. Now let me show you one option which is not available among any other frontline products. Be it ChatGPT, Google Gemini or Microsoft Copilot, you cannot generate this kind of content. Now this was the point I was talking about in the beginning of the video. This feature is not available elsewhere. What I'll do now, let me show you this particular option. If I click on create image and then I type this particular prompt, generate an image of Elon Musk handshaking with Bill Gates. And if I hit enter, then let's see if it can generate that image for us. You can see it is generating that image. Now this image is harmless, but think about a situation. There is no guardrail and anyone can generate image of any person and that can be a deep fake. So this is only available in Grok. If you type this prompt elsewhere, it will not generate that image. So this is one thing you need to use it with caution. You should not use it for any other purposes. You can use for the right purpose if you want to generate certain images. And if I click on any of the image, you'll be able to understand the quality of it. Also. You'll also be able to click on this particular icon to download. Now, once you generate all the images, if you go back and you close this particular option, and then you go back to your normal menu options, you will be able to get one option that is history. And if you click there in the images, you will be able to see all other images generated earlier using this tool. You can see all those options are available here. So all those images are automatically saved in your chat history so that down the line you can go and you can download it from there. Okay. Let me now show you a few more options. If I close this option and then I come to Grok and I clear everything and go to a new chat. Now few more options and which is also very good option available within Grok. That is you can ask for current news from this feed itself. You can ask anything about today's news. If I just click on this particular option, it will show me this particular news which is currently going on in India and there which post it is referring to, which are the websites it's talking about. So those news articles you will be also able to see. So knowing this new news, it's not there everywhere. Perplexity AI have certain features around it, but not in this way. While we saw that what other things this particular tool can do, there are few of the options which is lagging behind what I want to show it here. And if you have any such scenario where you need output on those areas, then you may need to check different other tools. Let me show you very quickly what am I talking about. If I paste one prompt here, that is to generate a PowerPoint presentation, it will give you the content of the PowerPoint presentation, but it will not be able to generate the actual presentation for you like the way ChatGPT does. But we also need to understand one thing, ChatGPT gives that capability as part of their paid plan and also in free plan they give, but it's only once or twice a day, not more than that. If I just reprompt here, can you generate the actual presentation in PPTX format? It will say, no, I'm not able to generate any files directly, but it will show you the steps using which you'll be able to generate your PowerPoint presentation. Now, similarly, if I go to a new chat and click on this particular attach icon, and then I ask it to 
analyze any of the excel file let's see how it responds now this is a netflix title data which is available and if i click on open then it is adding that csv file here if i now execute this particular prompt please analyze this file and give me insight and if i hit enter now it's trying to analyze and now it's throwing some error we are currently experiencing a dimension size issue with your request any chance of making it more compact now earlier i got a different error that it cannot analyze so currently it is not able to analyze any of the excel or csv files that's another drawback while these two things it's not able to produce but there are multiple different other areas it is performing very well and it can be a replacement of chat gpt if you don't want to spend that 20 dollar per month and you have normal usage whatever you use within chat gpt on delivers Let me know what's your feedback in the comments. If you think that this can be a replacement of ChatGPT for your use cases, or you want me to try few more things with Grok. If you are looking for ChatGPT replacement and you don't want to spend that twenty dollar per month, and you are looking for some alternatives, then check out this video where I covered another tool which can help you to find that particular option.